Supreme Court has refused to lift the stay on Reliance Communications asset sale immediately. This is going to be a blow for Reliance Communications for sure because do remember that, well, of course, for one, this asset sale was expected to help re uh, reduce the debt when it comes to uh, Reliance Communications. But also what's important is it was also going to be uh, something that would aid uh, the process in relation to Rel Geo going forward. Now, do remember that this has been a case that has been taken forward by the lenders to the Supreme Court. Uh, this was against a Bombay High Court order which had dismissed the telecom companies appeal against an arbitration tribunal ruling that had barred the sale or transfer of assets. In fact, let's get in some more perspective from our reporter Abhimanyu who has been at the Supreme Court attending the hearing. Abhimanyu, what rationale did the Supreme Court give? Well, the court has adjourned uh, the hearing till the next date and still then the status quo is to be maintained uh, by, uh, by the parties in this case, uh, by, by both by uh, Reliance uh, uh, Arcorp as well as RGO uh, have to maintain their status quo. Also, the parties have been asked to file their written submissions by the 28th of March, whereas the status quo is to be maintained till the next date of hearing, that is on the 5th of April. SBI had moved the Supreme Court uh, seeking permission for Arcom asset sale. They had uh, they had contended that although they were not a party before the matter, which was listed earlier before a tribunal and subsequently before the High Court, uh, in which the, uh, there was a stay which was put on sale of assets, they had argued that the initial plea which was moved before uh, the, the tribunal, it was moved by an operational creditor, uh, a non-secured creditor, Ericsson, and uh, at, at the cost of an unsecured creditor, the, uh, the benefits of secured creditors cannot be put at stake, and that was the contention which was raised uh, by SBI. Additionally, it was also submitted by our comms council before uh, the apex court that the asset the asset, asset value was deteriorating day by day and it would have been difficult if at all things get delayed further it would be difficult to recover the total money even after the bidding process ends and even after uh, even as the bidding date is extended further it would lead to further deterioration of value and the people who are supposed to get money the organizations the banks which are supposed to get money would realize a lesser amount of money than they would do at this point of time after which the court has asked the status quo to be maintained and has asked for written submissions of all the parties in this particular case. What remains to be seen in the next state of hearing is what would be the contentions put forth uh, by, by the parties and in what light uh, this uh, the order of the tribunal would be taken up by the apex court given the contention given by SBI that an operational creditor and the interest of the operational creditor cannot be used uh, to, uh, to prejudice the interest of banks and secured creditors. Abhimanyu, thanks for getting us those details, but uh, just a quick uh, clarification. Um, th this is not the final verdict. The verdict is going to come out only till the 5th of April. So it's just a status quo. Is that correct? Well, exactly. And this, this, there is no finality as far as uh, this order of the Apex Court is concerned. Uh, it's, it's merely the next date of hearing which has been listed. And uh, till then, the status quo would be maintained. That is, that uh, the, the, uh, the earlier situation will continue. No, uh, no particular or further sale can take place uh, till any uh, further orders from the Apex Court. Yet, the court has asked all the parties to, submit, uh, to, to provide their written submissions in this regard. And only after that, the court is going to take any further call whether sale of assets would be allowed or not. Okay, understood. Now, the reason why perhaps you're also seeing the stock crack so significantly is because it was based on this Supreme Court order that Arcom actually had to close the sale of its wireless assets to um, uh, Mukesh Ambani owned Rel Geo and it wanted to do that by March end to avoid it landing in the bankruptcy court. Um, that is something that I think one should note. This is not the verdict but it's just that they wanted to do this asset sale by the end of 31st March and if the Supreme Court has put a stay till the 5th of April, it's something that will land Rel, um, uh, Rel Reliance Communication a big conundrum. Remember they have a 45,000 crore rupee debt. If they had completed the Geo deal which was itself valued by 25,000 crore rupees, it would have significantly work towards paring down that debt. Um, this, that's the reason why it comes in as a major blow to rel communication. It's down by about 3.2%. We're going to try and of course get you some more perspective um, on rel communications. It's at the day's low as we speak. Remember, it's a status quo on the asset sale till the 5th of April, but it's something that will hinder with its plans to bring down the debt by selling off its wireless assets to rel geo by the end of March.